I've realized you guys probably think all I do is eat cake and ice cream all the time because that's kind of always what I'm doing. <laughs> Well, obviously that's not true. I also cook and I love to cook. So you know what? I'm gonna bring you some of my favorite dishes. And since it is fall, guess what's ready? Squash, and I have a lot of it coming out of the patch. And I have to use what is in season because that is why I grow it. So these are delicious squash and chickpea tacos with a little bit of a chipotle slaw on top. Guys, seriously, it's like the flavors of fall and like your favorite Tex-Mex put together and had an awesome taco. Let me tell you, you are gonna be making these all fall long. To start, you just wanna drain and rinse your chickpeas. I'm just using canned chickpeas here. A lot of times I do like to prepare dried chickpeas, but in this case, you really don't need to do that. So just drain the can and then rinse them off and then set them aside just to kind of drip dry a little bit. Separately, you wanna get ready your squash. Now, you can use whatever your farmer's market or local store has ready for you. Butternut squash works great, delicata will work great, Kubota will work great, but honestly, I am using what I have. And this looks a little weird, but it's just like a butternut squash, so it's gonna work perfectly. Just take the skin off, then to the ends, cut it in half, take the seeds out, and dice them into small half-inch pieces. You just wanna make sure they're all diced in about the same size. One, because they're easy to chew in bite-sized pieces for a taco, but also that way they're gonna bake evenly. Pile them right into the middle of your baking sheet and then dump on those prepared chickpeas. To spice these up and really amp up the flavor, you just wanna add some delicious spices. So on top, you're gonna put a little bit of grapeseed oil. I use grapeseed or any neutral oil. A corn or vegetable oil would work well here too. Olive oil can sometimes just have too much flavor. Some salt. Ground cumin. Smoked paprika. Ugh, that really adds a depth of smoky flavor that you just cannot get anywhere else, and I love it. Chili powder and onion powder. Just mix that all together with your hands. You don't need to do it in a separate bowl. Just do it on the baking sheet because you're saving dishes that way. And then spread it out into an even layer. This is just gonna help it bake evenly. So obviously you wanna do that. Place it right into a preheated oven and let it bake off. What I love about this is the chickpeas kind of crisp up and dry out just a little bit and the squash really just gets tender and delicious. And it's a great pairing because chickpeas have a ton of protein and are really healthy and the squash not only adds that great smooth texture but also has great benefits. So this is a delicious taco. Okay, and you're probably saying, um, doesn't a taco usually have meat? Honestly, I'll admit, I don't cook a lot of meat all the time. It's not that I'm vegetarian, it's just not something I do. So a lot of times this is how I cook. If you want to, add meat right in. Tell me how you do it and what you like to do with it because I'd love to know how you're using these tacos. While that is baking off, you can just get ready that really delicious slaw. I like to use an old shredder to shred my cabbage, so just shred it up. If you want, you can just cut it up too. I like it a little bit finer, it's just my personal preference. Take any bad leaves off your cabbage. If you're buying it fresh or picking it from the garden, sometimes it can have some bad leaves. Just make sure you don't have any of those wilted leaves or really bad spots on it. Add your cabbage to the bowl and then dice up some pepper. I like to use a colored pepper. I've always found raw green pepper to be a little bit bitter, so I just like to use a colored one. Anything you have in the garden or fresh at your market, you might as well just pick your favorite. Dice it up small, add it to the bowl with the cabbage, and some onion. I just am using a white onion, so it's not quite as strong. Red onion would be great, really anything would be great. Just dice it up, put it on top of that pepper and cabbage, and then you just wanna build your quick sauce on top of it. Seriously, could this get any easier? It's all right in one bowl. I start with some Greek yogurt. If you don't have Greek yogurt, you could use sour cream, perfect substitute. Definitely some lime juice. I love the flavor of lime in this, seriously, it is so good. And some chipotle paste. You know what I do? You buy those chipotle peppers and adobo sauce in a can, but there's hardly ever that you're gonna use a whole can when you open it. So when I open the can, I just throw it right into a little food processor, grind it up till it's completely smooth, 
and then keep it in a container in the fridge or the freezer until I want to use it. One, you never have to chop it up that way. Two, it allows you to keep it for a lot longer and it's a lot easier to use. So just grind it up, keep it as a paste, use it whenever you want. I'm putting in some of that delicious chipotle paste. Yes, it is spicy. Yes, it has a lot of flavor. So if you're a little averse to spice, you may want to cut back a little bit. I like to go a little bit heavy because I think I burned any taste bud that is in my mouth that tastes spice because there is just like no stopping. And to finish it, some salt. Stir that all together until it's well mixed and then taste it. Sometimes depending on the time of year, the cabbage you get, the vegetables, you can get a little bit bitter taste or you just need to balance out the flavors. And for that, I like to add honey. So taste it if it needs balancing out, just add some honey. It really will kind of bring everything together. You won't taste the sweetness, but it will really even all the flavors out. Set that aside just to kind of marry all those flavors a little bit. And then pull your squash and chickpeas out of the oven. If you're unsure when they're gonna be done, just stick a knife in one of the pieces of squash make sure it's really tender and goes in easily. That's all you need to know. Or if it's not too hot, just pop one in your mouth. That's what I do, then you know. Pull it out, let it cool slightly, and then you can just assemble your tacos. I like to use corn tortillas. They're a little bit smaller, so you can eat plenty, but also they're easier to manage because they're small, they're delicious, they're quick, they're easy, I love them. Also gluten-free, see? So there's like so many benefits here. Put some of that chickpea and squash mixture right on the bottom. A little bit of cabbage, or a lot if you're like me. I like to use some kocha cheese. It's like a Mexican feta almost. It's a little bit crumbly, it's delicious. If you can't find it, use whatever cheese you like. Actually, feta is a good substitute. It's a little bit more tangy, but it does work. Slice up some limes. As a garnish, add some cilantro chopped up or some salsa, guacamole, whatever you like, you can put on top of these and they're gonna be delicious. Serve these for friends, with drinks, or with dinner. It is absolutely delicious. I love to have these around and I think you are so going to enjoy them. I can't wait to see how you're using these flavors and they are a great introduction into the fall season. If you agree, make sure to like this video, share it around, and I love to hear from you guys to know what your fall inspirations are.